Hey, this is Chris Menard. I have a great trick for you today in Microsoft Excel on how to keep all your worksheets looking consistent as far as the font colors, the fonts, the formatting. I have three worksheets at the bottom, 2017 through 2019. Assume that I have 20. It doesn't matter how many worksheets you have. But notice my font is Calibri and 11 is the size. If I select 2018, somebody used Arial and 12 and their header row has a red font when the 2017 was in a black font. And watch 2019. Look at that. And they use Comic Sans MS. And look at that header row. Ridiculous. I'm going to get them all the same real fast. I'm going to go to 2017. It doesn't really matter which one you start from, but that's the first one that I have. So that's why I went to 2017. I'm going to go ahead and make the header row a white font. And I'm going to apply a blue background. I still want to make sure it's bold. Notice purchases to date and income. I'm going to make those currency and I'm going to lose the two decimal places. So this worksheet is just the way I want it. The other two or the other 20, it doesn't matter. They're off. They're all off. So here's the step. Step one, highlight your range, including the header row. Step two, Hold down the shift key and select the last worksheet. Let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key. Notice up in my title bar, it has the word group. The next step, home tab, I'm already there. Editing group over here to the right. Fill, I'm gonna fill across the worksheets. A dialog box appears, just select okay. I'm going to right click any one of the worksheets and do an unselect sheets. It may say ungroup sheets. It's going to be off my screen. It's actually ungroup sheets. Now it no longer says group. So make sure it doesn't say group anymore. 2017 I knew was correct because that's where I started. 2018 was Arial and 12. And it had a red font color. It is now Calibri and 11. And the header row is correct, and the numbers have currency and no decimals. 2019, that was the one that was awful. It's correct. There you go. That is called Excel's Fill Across Worksheets. Great way to keep all your formatting the same. Please visit my YouTube channel and subscribe. I put out two to three videos a week. Thank you.